Lord, give me. A, I can't hear you ask. Let me have a new robe. All things are possible. I can't hear you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we, I want to thank you because as we again look at your word, in this short time, do abundantly. Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you may be seated. Holding the horn of the altar. And tonight in 20 minutes, I'll be sharing on holding the horn of the altar is holding the hand of God. Holding the horns of the altar is holding the hand of God. If you look up, I'm going to give you a gift. When you meet them and recognize them, your life don't remain the same. It can happen this night. When you meet them, please, this is what I gave you now is a gift. There are certain contacts that when you make those contacts and uh, and recognize them and take advantage of them. That is why the eyes is very powerful. You can make a, a, a contact without taking advantage of it. Let me say again. I say somebody can make and now what is responsible for it is blindness. Don't forget that we are talking about horn. There cannot be power without eyes. I keep on telling you, you don't hide blindness. Mental and spiritual blindness is evident in operation and result. Can I say something to somebody, a young man, maybe a pastor, somebody who is intelligent? Please hear me. It, I want to say to a pastor this night, God does not make it possible for people to forget men of God that imparted them very well. When a man of God imparts you, you lose part of your life to him permanently. That is when a man preaches a message, preaches a message that bless you, or you read, you read a book that bless you, you lose part of your life to the person who wrote that book. Now, some people, some pastors don't know that I, I don't only preach. I, I, I don't only preach on microphone or from the altar. I preach from books. Now, this is altar and this is a building. It is confined. But 321 books, they are into the hand of people you cannot imagine. And they are still my converts because they are feeding on the word. Some of us talk about Kenneth Hagin. Have you met him? EWKM. Dr. Mice. What about Apostle Paul? You didn't meet him. But we can't deny him. I said we can't. Uh, on Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I will, I will be preaching that kings go to battle at the end of the year. At the end of every year, kings must fight. So on Wednesday night, fighting, royal fighting will start. The moment that is December 1, kings will start. The ugliest month on earth is December. And the most wonderful time on earth is December. For those who lose battles, they will die. But for those that kill them and took over what they have, their life appreciates. So by the Wednesday night, Thursday morning, you will take your side in the Passover service. Number two thing I want you to know about contact have no limitation. 
And please hear me. You are not meant to meet everybody. So don't even think there are people that devil push into your path when you want to delay your life. Now, but you will not know that they are agents of darkness because you don't know those you are meant to meet. Why we meet people and go forward? We also meet people and we are delayed. So, the God that wants to bless you in season we always come like a man. The God of every man is in the man. So is it not a miracle of your life for you to know when your God has come to you like a man? And then behave yourself. Excuse me. If you raise your hand above your head, I will kneel down before I tell you this truth. Bring your hands. When God, every man on earth, has a capital man given to that man that must not allow you to go down. If I stop now, I have blessed you. Let me say it again. I say every man on this earth has another man God must give you to make sure that you didn't go down. Now, if in your process of searching, you find that man and hold the hand strongly with that man, the door downwards will shut down immediately and permanently. If you are still lacking what you need, then you will not find the man. Or you have found the man with it, you've not found him. Because if you find him, you, you will recognize him. I said, Well, you find him. Can I say something in a minute? Huh? If that lady is 35 years or more and is struggling to pay house rent, that lady has, has trifled with the man God has sent to her to help her. No attack is greater. Excuse me. Even, a, if, even those who are around that man are still part of your help. You see, because some people can carry an anointing of a man, a man. There are people I send money to because, because of where they are hanging around. Because of they are hanging around the man I respect. So I give them seed. What way they have a brain? Or just give them seed because they are hanging around an important person hang up on a phone if i call the man the man didn't pick i will call them they will tell me where the man is because of that they have small small things did you clap for what i just said <laughs> if i stop this meeting i have blessed you let me repeat what I said. If you find yourself cold and naked, you are neglecting somebody God has given you to stop your battles. You are finding yourself cold and naked. You are, you are neglecting somebody that, you have, that has been sent to you by God. And I don't know how to tell you there is no attack that is greater. You 
is he not a man that you make soup and gave and the, the, the and the man and the man ate the food you know that hunger has ended in your generation it's a revelation huh just one man just an Elijah ate a widow's food hunger ended in that woman's life a, a woman gave food to an Elijah and brought him to her house and then barrenness ended and she didn't ask anything the man ate his food and found the problem of the man Elijah ate the food and discovered the problem of the woman on his own because all he got need a woman if you are chopping the food of people as a pastor and they are still suffering then your anointing is fake First King one fifty. So when somebody do you favor, command your anointing to speak on the person. I said, do what? Tell your anointing the anointing should speak because you have eaten, you know. You have already eaten, you know. If you come here on Sunday now, you will know I have fasted. You just know. First King chapter 150. Quickly. And Adonijah feared because of Solomon, and arose and went and caught hold on the horns of the altar. And it was told Solomon, saying, Behold, Adonijah feared King Solomon. For lo, he had caught hold on the horns of the altar, saying, Let King Solomon swear unto me today that he will not slay his servant with a sword. Number 52. And Solomon said, If he will show himself a worthy man, there shall not an hair of him fall on earth. But if wickedness shall be found in him, he shall die. Finally, so King Solomon sent, and they brought him down from the altar. And he came and bowed himself down to Solomon. And Solomon said unto him, Go to the house. 32, just because of time, 24 of the book of Genesis. Nothing will remain the same after this night. I can hear a big amen. Early in the morning, I went there and poured oil at the gate of that church and said, Lord, today is the last day in the history of Lucas and Inaja that a woman shall cross this gate and suffer. That somebody should cross that gate and suffer. He said, if this church is not from God, from this night, everyone that come into this place shall turn. Whether you believe in change of story or not, your story will change by force. I didn't hear somebody shout a big amen. I said, if you cross that gate and enter here, your life will not remain the same. Say with me, my life will not remain the same. I, I didn't hear you say, my life, my life. Can you call your name and say, Chris, Christian, your life will not remain the same. Your life will not remain the same. Locus army, your life will not remain the same. Call your name and say, I will never remain the same. So shall, shall, shall it be. 
Shall it be concerning your business? Shall it be concerning your life? Shall it be concerning your family? That burden is crushed now. I didn't hear your amen. That demon that fights you will no longer be there. Somebody say that. It just maybe see the time is going away. Time is going away. Ten minutes, I'm through. The book of Genesis 32, 24 years. And Jacob was left alone, and there rested a man with him until the breaking of the day. Number 25. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he rested with him. 27. And he, he said unto he him, said, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And then 27, I mean 28, finally. And he said, thy name He said, thy name shall be called, called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, had thou power with God and with men, and has prevailed. Thank you. Thank you. A man can be on earth. And have power with God. James said, if Elijah is a man of like passion, but he could close heaven. So, straight to point, God doesn't separate himself from sacrifices made to him, particularly unique sacrifices that he purposed, he personally requested. Unique purpose, unique sacrifices that he personally requested. Because if there is a horn to hold hand to meet God, there must be sacrifice. I said here, God depends on sacrifices made by men to exercise dominion on earth. What God achieved on earth is determined by the sacrifices of men. The horn of the altar is the hand of God. That particular place that Adonijah went and held his hand is the dwelling place of God. God have dwelling place among men. If God doesn't find dwelling place in the midst of men, he will not function. So, why will a man be suffering when a dwelling place of God is with him? In 21, 3 and 4 of Revelation. Jacob met the God of Abraham in 28, the dwelling place. When Abraham met Melchizedek, he gave him tight. To show to Mekizadek that he knows him. It is not knowing a man that matters. Is how do you relate with somebody you say you know? Uh, you know a man that carries your God and his word is falling down before you. You treat him with disdain. And say, you know, uh, this is somebody that have the blade of life and death for your life. And then you treat that man casually. And then you say, you know. If you know I am shepherd and I'm going to stand here to end the pot of oil this night. And uh, on Sunday, during the 40 days, is there a day you bought apple? And treat me like you know I'm shepherd. Or you want to run out in the morning and come back late in the night. Nobody gets it through it. Through it. I said, somebody want to run out 
ஆண்டு If sweat can give money, then fools will be rich. Anyone who holds the horn of the altar of Calvary is holding the hand of Jesus. The life and power of Jesus Christ is made manifest at the altar of the horn of Calvary. Jesus knew that the only way to live is to die. Uh, be this night I know the only way is excuse me one of the night I was praying in the sight and suddenly the unction to pray came on me I could see stars fall in the sea then I know that that sea you see there will dry soon that sea that sea, that sea you see there is, a, is in trouble. Huh? Trouble. You need to hear me. Somebody say trouble. Trouble. Oh. Trouble. I say, oh, stars. Can you fall inside the sea? Now, nah, grab the corner. You have to fall. You have to fall. You have to fall. I said, I said, you have to fall. Suddenly, I saw a cloud. It was forming. It is not possible for God to get unique, unique men, and the eight will not wear a new face. If your family has not won a new face since you were born, then you are not unique. And it doesn't take money to be unique. It takes being ferocious. As I text, men can command things. I told you, I said, if God stop prayer pot in heaven, it means that everybody prays. Why will you play with something everybody does? Everybody do. If you finish your work as a politician, as a medical doctor, as an artisan, as a school teacher, you go to church to go and pray. That means everybody needs prayer. And that means, that means it is in that prayer place we are all separated. Prayer energy. You can crack down any wall. cannot be part of the earth a self sacrifice is made God cannot be part of man a self sacrifice is also made the face God wears on earth is determined by the kind of sacrifice men made I have five minutes sacrifice men made a day came in my life when I know that if God has not blessed my family, it means that I have not done what I'm supposed to do. And God must not be blamed. The man Jesus has to lay down his life for Christ to be part of the earth. I said, the man Jesus has to do what? Yes. There is always something to lose to get something. So getting things start from losing things. I said there is always something before if God has not blessed you, start losing things. Start giving him things. And they don't say you are doing God favor. No. The earth is a place of exchange. You have to give him to get. Embracing Jesus is holding the seven hands of Christ. The altar is the safest place on earth. Those who make sacrifices sustain the presence of God on earth. Pay attention. If we put our hands tenaciously at the horn of an altar, 
we will be translated into heaven. God worked for men at the altar. Sacrifice doesn't lose its value. Stingy men are the worst kind of people on earth. Stingy. If you are a woman, there are three types of men you will do nothing with. Number one is stingy fools. If a man is stingy, then he is cursed. C-U-R-S-E. Doesn't have future. He's doomed. If you are a pastor and you want to increase your prayer energy on helping people, don't do personal knife a Jew with a stingy man. That knife a Jew will not profit you anything. You don't clap for what I just said. Don't give energy to a selfish fool. His brain is blocked. It is only a doomed seed of darkness that can be stingy. It is only spiritual and mentally a mental blindness that can moderate, motivate a man to end his life in a miserable way. Somebody say miserable. <laughs> All stingy lives are cost lives. Wherever there is stinginess, God will not be part of that place. One of the ways to know as a pastor that your ministry will not go anywhere is that if you are mass stingy people, then God didn't call you. And that church will close. You see, because those stingy people will destroy that ministry and you and die themselves. What God will use to bless a man must come from the man. So what God do is to take it from you and multiply it and send back. He doesn't use it. So and that is the spirit of royalty. That is why when you go to counseling room, when you go to counseling room, and somebody want to indulge you into long stories, save your life. Save your life from listening to a long story of a stingy man. Save your life. You see, where there are strong angels, demons don't function. Where there are Demons don't function. And no spirit takes something from you and walk away. So a man who is stingy, we never see the way to the altar. We never. When you're talking about giving, we say, don't mind those people who are asking you to give. Don't mind them. They want to chop your money. Which money are you chopping? We are talking about principles. Abraham, everybody, Jesus. Ah. Before Anna gave back to Samuel, he said to God, if you give me this boy, I will bring him back. That is an intelligent woman. And then he called him Samuel because I asked him of the Lord. At the age of four, he put an effort on him and take him by hand and drop him at the altar and walk home. That is, it is that spirit that gave child to the woman. Somewhere to the woman. Because God such is spirit. Liberal hearts are known in the way they are. 
and wherever God see liberal hearts, He doesn't allow them to suffer. Clap your hand for what I just said. It is not possible for a liberal heart because all liberal hearts look like God. Let me say this before I stop. If a man is stingy, then there is no God in him. It is here in this course. I said to die as a calvary at Calvary is a sign that Jesus is the Son of God. You cannot look like God and will not be a sacrifice. Let me say again. I said you cannot be without being. Uh, there is no fellowship between stingy men and God. Ah, uh, because it is two stinginess, Kaji and Mechi, Ama is no no. Ama. The road that leads to the compound. That is Ama. Two cannot work together except they agree. And that's my last. And is it a mystery? God and the Onyaka Gom can work together. Oh, Mister. Because two of them are not alike. Onyaka Gom should go his way. Onyaka Gom must not be around. Must not be around a man who killed his only son. Must not be. And I want to tell pastor something like warning you. I can't come people. Brazilian monkey. We always have something they want to complain about. From 10 o'clock to, to 3. To 3. After 5 years. After 5 hours. She was not crying. Are you telling her? Oh, that can go to get Yes, you don't know what I have suffered. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now only me that this word. <laughs> she will start. She will start this thing to destroy five hours prayer. She will raise satanic cry just to destroy the efficacy of that prayer. Because Akadon people, they don't think well. Can I ask you to stand? Oh, would you go? I came here with seven prayer points and I'm taking only three. And uh, I'll, be telling, I'll be taking cogent ones. You will get the remaining seven in the book when they come out. Somebody say praise God. Praise God. I didn't hear you say praise God. praise God. Can somebody say praise God now? Praise God. I didn't hear you say praise God. Why I was in a vision, the Lord showed me that certain doors has opened already for Lucas Army. Some people, some people, your life is supposed to have seven doors. And out of seven doors, only one and a half has opened. Only one has opened very well, and one is trying to, another one is trying to open. But the remaining five is locked. The Lord asked me to tell you that, that you should tell him this last night of this program that every door, channel of blessing that is not yet open in your family that that channel should open this night. If the channel is have opened half, the channel should open, open in the fullness. If the channel is trying to open, force it to open. If it is only, if it is seven, and you are struggling with only one or two, the remaining five and a half and six must open by fire. Now, 
this prayer is from God. Shout me, oh God. Oh God. All the doors. That's supposed to open unto Chris Chris and call your name. I command all by the blood of Jesus to open now. Can I hear you? All. 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 Not just two. Tell Shabbatala. Hey. Lara Takatalaba. Yele Dobo Santalaba. Why Allah Tapa Sakata? Legrada. Naria Kapoto Shekele, brother. Somebody are not hearing you. Oh God, all oh the doors. All oh the doors. Somebody are release a fire on that door. Class of all your Rakapatalaba. All the doors are opened by fire. All the doors. All the doors. All the doors. Somebody, can you raise your voice? Lisa Sokotolia Rakapatala. Lesato Rokapata. Yala Rakapasakata. I will call upon the name of the Lord in the days like this night. And he will hear me from the holy places. Lara Kapatalayaba. Hey! Hey! All the doors. Somebody cry to the seven doors. Seven doors. Cry to seven doors to open. Christian. The remaining doors. The remaining doors. Somebody speak to the heaven, speak to the earth. Speak to the market, speak to thrones. Speak to the water, speak to lands. Can you 
lift your voice? Can you lift your voice? Can you lift your voice? Can you lift your voice? La da 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 da. Years ago, that was the last time I did this program in Kano. One of the nights, the guardian angel of this altar came to me and said to me. Can you look at me? I said, I'm looking at you. I saw him take took wind and then cross the seven gates of the sea. And then came back and said to me, I am the only angel that has power over it. And I'm the guardian angel of this mandate. He said, I can give Lucas army anything. Today he came back to me. Maybe today is the last day. That angel. I said, go and say this thing to look us. I mean, let those that have faith to believe in me. The angel was telling me. I said, what do you want? He said, ask them to ask. That wherever their blessings are tied into seven gates. It doesn't matter how difficult. Inside the ocean, seven layers. Into abyss. Into the smallest village in America into the height of heavens into where men cannot imagine he said tell the people to command me he said i will do this thing only for locust army so i would like you to take advantage of this meeting in one minute say with me say oh you get an angel of immortality tonight i release you to go to the seven seven places of eternity Cross the seven gates of the ocean. Go to the deepest of the deep. No matter how strong the door of that, that dominion is. Tonight by your infinite power. Scatter it now. And you can get me my blessings. Can I hear you daddy and just scatter it now. Scatter it now. It doesn't matter how strong the door is. Tell the angel to scatter it. It doesn't matter how deep. Oh, you hazardous angels. Take risk. Judge your enemies fast. Condemn them openly. Judge them immediately. Show your power. Yeah. Oh, you angel of hazard. Radio Pasakata. Somebody, you are there now. That is it. You are there now. You are there now. You are there now. In any country of the world. Open Kapata. Yeah. Go, oh, you angel. Somebody fight like a lion. This is the end of pain. This is the end of suffering. This is the end of lack. This is the end of delay by fire. This is the end of delay. Oh, you lion angels. I release, I release you for hazardous missions. Go by fire. Take your wind. Somebody, if you make that prayer hard, then the activities will multiply. Can you say it out? You say it out all over the nations, all over the nations, all 
all over the gates. The boundary of limitation shall shattered. All over the countries, all over the people. Fire! All over dominions! Obey the day! The leader of the army of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Now can you say amen several times? more prayer to two minutes the Lord asked me to tell you that certain eyes that are watching you are evil he called them the eyes of darkness I said hey. and he asked me to tell you to say to eyes of darkness be destroyed somebody say all oh, you eyes of darkness watching me from anywhere whether in your village or in lagos whether it is where you are living the eyes of darkness shall go blind the eyes of darkness shall be judged whether they are inside your family house whether they are inside the village river whether it's an occultic man in your office whether it's an evil man around your shop so you eyes of darkness i destroy you by fire can i hear your prayer now all your eyes of darkness all your eyes of darkness all your eyes of darkness you messenger of antichrist against my life against my business all your eyes of darkness i command you to be judged i'm not hearing you every eyes of darkness in your family every eyes of darkness around you every eyes of darkness where you live Oh, you eyes of darkness. Can you lose your, can you release your voice and begin to judge the eyes of darkness? The messenger of Satan. The messenger of Satan around this church. The eyes of darkness. The eyes of shame. The messenger of evil, the son of perdition. All your lion angels. Jesus can you 
Can you behave like you are trying to fight? I am going to end this meeting soon. Can you behave like you are trying to fight? While we are praying, I saw in a vision some people, anytime something great wants to happen, the eyes of darkness will steer up controversies. The eyes of They know what you want to be, so they don't want to turn away from you. They are trying to give you attention. Because they are afraid. They saw your star and they are afraid. The eyes of darkness. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Every strange eye is watching Chris Christian. This night is a night of anger. I demolish that eyes. Now by fire. I can't hear your prayer. Wait. Wait. While we are praying, I saw some few people. It was like family members are eyes of darkness. Somebody took your star and is becoming popular with it. He will return. He will return your star. He will return your star. A, a, a lady that is hearing me, your senior brother took your children and used it to make charm in the realm of the spirit. So you're looking for a child. And you didn't know that somebody have already sacrificed your children somewhere. Uh, that eyes of darkness we know we not see tomorrow. I can't hear a shout of amen. Can you shout amen like you are winning? Say so, all oh, you eyes of darkness. Whether you like it or not, or not, I must marry this year. Whether you like it or not, I will burn babies this year. Whether you like it or not, I will be a rich man this year. Whether you like it or not, I will buy a car this year. Whether you like it or not, I will have plenty of money this year. So, oh, you eyes of darkness, I command you to perish. Can I hear you now for another one minute? Somebody judge the eyes of darkness. The sanctuaries must cast fire. Whether it is in the realm of the spirit or in the physical. Tonight I am an anointed man of God. Tonight my name is Chris Christian, head of life and immortality. Tonight I am standing up. Potola Rakapata. The eyes of darkness. The eyes of darkness. The eyes of darkness. The eyes of darkness. Somebody shout. Time is against us. Can you can you take it to heart? In the name of Jesus. You're going to end this prayer like this in one minute. Wherever they took my destiny, I buried it. Before Sunday, somebody will have an encounter of excavation of buried things. Ancient pots. Thunder will find somewhere and excavate an evil. Another person, somebody who did evil to you will confess. Somebody say, oh eyes of darkness. I command you to confess. Shout me finally, all oh, you eyes of darkness. Wherever you buried something that concerned me. Wherever you raise altar against Chris Christian. Whatever you buried shall come out. Your altar shall cast fire. There will be no rest in hell fire. Until I am settled this night. So all oh, you angry angels. I release you against the eyes of darkness. Destroy them. Now by fire. Can I hear your prayer? Can I hear your prayer? In the name of Jesus. Father, the eyes of darkness is destroyed completely. 
in the name of Jesus. I can hear your amen. Now, can you shout seven amens? This is the last prayer in two minutes. The Lord asked me that we should agree as a covenant people that terminal diseases shall not be part of our life and family. That is the last. Whether it is cancer or kidney failure, not only it will not touch you, it will not touch family members. Any time in a hundred years. Hold left hand with somebody. Listen, don't play with this prayer. The Lord asked me, and that's our last. Don't take it for granted. Evil is raining. I say evil. Evil is raining. Shout me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Where there is, where there is a dep if there is any deposit against my life. In the realm of the spirit concerning any terminal disease in the bloodline tonight by fire, I command them to be uprooted anywhere. Can I hear you now? Can I hear you now? Uprooted anywhere, it will never happen, it will never happen. Let fire destroy it. Nobody will die. Somebody cancer will not grow in your body. Your kidney will not fail. Terminal diseases will not run in Locus Army. Flush. Flush. There will be no kindly death. Oh, God, Pototo. Pototo. Wait. Wait. It's by exemption you will do it. Something is called exemption that this thing can happen. Somebody was sharing about how kidnappers went and kidnapped a man, a member of a particular church. And they brought the man before Cham, what they use in testing men so that they can kill them. They must pass a man through something, you know, dedicate the person to Satan before they cut off the head of the person. They brought the lady there, the Cham rejected the lady. The charm rejected her. They took her again. The charm rejected her. Kidnappers. They say you should go and get the, the, the they should go and get the bag of that girl. They took her bag and saw a church newsletter. A particular church. The head of that kidnapping told them, say, how long will we, shall we tell you not to bring people that attend this church? Because charm doesn't work on them. You don't take the prey of a mighty. Uh, it happened to somebody, uh, I think we had it somewhere from a sister from Abuja Church. Huh? One of the time. That is who you are. I said, that is. That is who you are. Who you are is that you are untouchable. That your blood cannot drop on the way. I didn't hear you say a big amen. Yeah. That, that if an enemy want to touch you, 1,000 kidnappers will die in one night. Yeah. Somebody say die. die. The Bible 
Bible says in seven of the book of Revelation. He said, We will not kill them until we remove those that have mark. Until we remove those that have mark. M A R K. Shout me, oh God. Can you lift up your, your, your left hand? That's our last prayer now. Shout me, oh God. Because your fire is surrounding me. Surrounding my family. No terminal disease can reign around us. Can you say to God in heaven? My life cannot be taken. The life of my children cannot be taken. The life of my husband cannot be taken. Tosha Kapatalaya. is from God that if we not come next year 5 years, 10 years 20 years anytime thank you Lord in the name of Jesus can you lift your hand Father I build a fresh wall of fire around the immortal people again i declare them untouchable if you're hearing me and you know i am Chris christian servant of god i go to wherever you lost something the prayer that is here is supposed to be prayer number four is very important but you're not praying it because of time if you're hearing me and you have lost anything or you lost any chance because of ignorance or you made a mistake and the mistake is talking whatever that you lost i go to that place where you lost it and i command those things to come back to you in one thousand folds. can you make that shout seven times In the book of Revelation chapter 11, the Bible says, Any man that shall, that want to hurt them, the son shall die by fire. If you are hearing me this night, in the realm of the spirit, or in the physical, somebody took what belonged to you, in the spirit or in the physical. I said, that woman or that man shall die as by fire. Can you make it seven times? Lift your hands. Oh, pray, Yagidi, upon the oil on me. I will remember I told God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The hundred and fifty people from this night you will no longer suffer can you make your amen seven times me if there be any woman sitting down on your money in the realm of the spirit or in the physical whether it is witch or wizard or mermaid whether it is in the physical or in the spiritual sitting down on your blessing not only that that woman I will sit her now I will sit him now as I unseat her, I command her to die. I didn't hear your amen. Can your amen sound seven times? Amen. 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 Amen.
lift your hands. Lift the person. Lift your own hands. Look at the altar. Anywhere you are. They're going to promise, promise me something. They're going to say, Lord, if you bless me in Locust Army, I will not do Uruguru to Shepherd. Tell God. Tell God. And the guy, Balaga. Oh, go to the church. I got a ha Balaga. Have you said it? Have you said it? Lift your hands. Blessings that you cannot be able to get on your own. Dabru Sidia. Sidia. Sidiana Sadinanga Sidiana Gabara You can the what you cannot get on your own. I'm asking the angel that made me a union to embarrass you with such a blessing in the name of Jesus. Can you make it seven times? Can you take your offering? It's done. It's done. It's accomplished. It's accomplished. On Sunday in combined service, don't take water. Don't take any. Don't put anything in your mouth. You eat after service. Like I told you, buy oil, buy water, buy mantle. And uh, it's an international church. Huh? Kennedy, tell everybody to connect from everywhere. Friends, sons. Everywhere, African nation, Europe, Canada, America, UK, China, Russia, anywhere. Say with me, Lord Jesus, with this seed, I connect to all the blessings of 40 days. Jesus, my name. Can you say amen and hear yourself? Look up me, praise the Lord now. I will praise him every day. Praise him every day. I will praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You don't know why I'm dancing. I can eat it by now. Gethsemane 2022 20, is ending. I'm about to eat your body. There is no trespass in me because I am redeemed. There is no sin in me because I am bought by the blood. Jesus, as I eat your body, I am alive forever. Father, as we eat your body, we are alive forever. Amen. Name of God the Father, Amen. Son, Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. Somebody, can you stretch your hand? Father, anyone that drink you, that drink Jesus in blood, let whatever that is good around us multiply. Yeah. In the name of God the Father, yeah. Son, Amen. Holy Spirit.
power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood, in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood, in the blood. Oh, in the blood of Jesus Christ, there is power mighty. In the blood, there is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. There is power oh. In the blood of Jesus Christ There is power mighty in the blood Let me be 
still standing, good books are here, the enlightenment of immortality. Power is a being and a becoming. Somebody clap, imagination is everything. The God in every man, are you still clapping? The hidden riches of the secret places. And finally, losing the seal for loom 13. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Many thanks to Jerusalem women. Father, as your people go home, your fire will burn around them continuously. I can hear a big amen. I dedicate your cloth to fire. Can you say amen? I hear yourself. I say that cloth shall burn in fire. Your hand shall be on fire. Your legs shall be on fire. Even your face shall be on fire. If you believe in that, can you shout a big amen? <laughs> Tell somebody goodness and mercy shall follow you. All the days of your life. Tell the other person you shall dwell in your house and God's house. Now and forever more. Father, Father, these tools, these tools shall speak for Lucas Army. Bring us so many miracles. In Jesus' mighty name. I can hear your amen. Can you hold on with somebody? Can you keep your foot on the ground? Hold on with somebody. Left hand and lift right hand up. Father, thank you because you've been with us. The hair of one locust, of one covenant immortal person, shall not fall to the ground. I can hear an amen. In the days when death is hanging around you, an enemy shall die for you. Take your hand above your head and shout a big amen. When people remember that they will hurt you, they will run mad. I didn't hear a big amen. I said they will run mad. The jacket of your immortality shall be thick and very strong. Impregnable and unapproachable. Born with fire continuously because you can die. Not only that you can die. I had the spirit of oath say to me, Whatever you have, like money, shall multiply. Somebody from these 40 days, a kind of money that have not come into your account will come into your account. I didn't hear a big amen. Somebody, a kind of car that you don't know you can have, God will give it to you. I didn't hear an amen. Houses and babies and favor. I say you shall be above the challenges of this world. Can you say, Shepherd, I believe your God? Say with me, all you hazardous angels. I release you to function for me in hazardous times. You will do impossible things. In the name of Jesus, I can hear a big amen. 
This second meal shall bring anointing in your body. Yeah. I can't hear a big amen. Yeah. So I bless it. In the name of God the Father, yeah. Son, yeah. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now, you know you will not rush. You will give them two minutes sitting down. And then you will get your food and go. So blessed be the name of the Lord, the Lord Almighty, creator of... Dumb people and tribe of the Lord, meadows, kings and priests. To him be glory and honor. World without end. Tell somebody your miracle just started. You say, yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> you.